we're going to use Sudoku hidden triplets in this Sudoku primer video to get past a difficult spot in this uh, puzzle, this diabolical puzzle that we have. This is puzzle number 90 from Sudoku to Go, volume 124 by Soap Opera Digest. My name is Harold Nolte. There are about 160 videos on this YouTube channel, all of them dedicated to helping you understand how to um, get past the more difficult Sudoku puzzles that are out there. There's also a website, sudokuprimer.com, where you can find techniques and patterns and lots of other Sudoku information that can help you too. We're going to start out here with uh, filling in some easier numbers. I'm not going to um, explain how I get a lot of these numbers, but if you have a question, please leave a comment with your question and I'll try and answer it. Thing I noticed right off here we got threes here so one of these is a three got a nine here and a nine here so one of these is a nine so we have three nine twins right here twins are always help or quite often helpful Hope you're seeing how I'm getting all these numbers here. Now this two might not be real straightforward. Got a two here and a two here, so one of these could be a two. But if you remember, we had three nine twins here, so that can't be a two. So the two has to go there. got that 8 because we're only missing 5, 6, and 8 in this box and there's a 5 and a 6 in this column already. So that's how I got that 8. Okay, now at this point or we get a little bit stuck. We I put in all the easy numbers but now it's getting a little bit tricky. We do know we have three nine twins here, and therefore we have four eight twins here. But, uh, and of course, there's five six twins here by virtue of the fact there's only two cells empty in this, in this box. But we can't solve any of those, and there's not much we can do. So I'm going to show you some hi um, hidden triplets that I found got a 2 here and we know one of these is a 2 because we got a 2 here. So 2, 2, 2. We've got a 5 here and a 5 here so one of these is a 5. So we have 2's, a 2 and one of these and a 5 and one of these 3. If we can find one more number we'll have triplets right there. And I call them hidden because um, it's kind of tricky to find them. It's not obvious that those are triplets. See if you can find that third number without me explaining it. Um, you could pause the video if you'd like, but I'm going to continue on. If we have, we know we have four eights here. We also have an eight here and an eight here already, so we know one of these is an eight. So using double row elimination, we know that these two rows already have eights in them in the 
in box one and three. So that means in box two, the eight can only go in row one. So we have two, two five, eight triplets there. We know these are three, nine twins, so we know what these two numbers are. They're one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So four sevens go there. We can fill those in. We can solve those because of this four here. So did you see how I got those triplets? Very subtle, but uh, once I was able to get all three of those numbers there, we were able to fill in this four sevens here. We can fill in that seven there too. Now, let's look at this box again. Now we have four numbers left. We know what these three numbers are. So we have four cells with four numbers. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, four, six, and seven. We have one, four, and six here already. So we can look at that two different ways. We can see that that's a seven right there. We can also see without filling that seven in that we have one, four, six triplets right here. Uh, let's look at this box right here. There are four numbers missing here too. One, three, five, seven. One, three, five, and seven. And again, we have one, three, and seven here. So these are one, three, seven triplets. And so we know that's a five. Now, in reality, we have three seven twins here, because we have a seven here, seven here, three here, three here. So these are three seven twins, so we know that's a one. With that one, we can fill in that one. Fill in this one right there. And now we have all our ones. Ones are done. Okay, now we've got a loner cell right here. If you go to if you don't know what a loner cell is, go to sudokuprimer.com, go to the techniques section, and it will talk about loner cells. They're they're quite useful. Um, we have a, outside this box in this row, we have a 1, 4, 9, 3, 2. We've got a 1, 4, 3, 2 here already, so we know that's a 9. And with that 9, we can solve the three 9 twins that we saw right at the beginning here in box 1. Okay, now with, these, with this 5 here, we see that's a 5 right there. So that's a six. Okay, and that makes that a six right there. Okay, now um, we had, if you remember, we had one, four, six triplets here. We filled in the one, so we have four, six left here, four, eight here, and we can solve them now because of this six here. can solve both the 4-6 twins and the 4-8 twins. Now we've got, in this column here, we're missing 6 and 8. We've got an 8 there. So we can solve those, and we're only missing a 6 in that box, in box 4 there. Now we have another loner cell here. That's a, that's a four. All right, now we fill in a five there. Now we're missing three numbers here. Two, three, four. Two, three, and four. There's a four in that column already. 
So those are pretty straightforward. Now we have it, what are we missing here? Three and eight. Got three there, so can fill those in. All right, now with these two eights missing in this column, we've got a two here. Now we're missing 5 and 8 up here. Those were our triplets that we found. We can solve them now. And we've got a 2, two 8 here that we can solve. Let's look at this bottom row here. We're missing two, three, two and three. We can solve those. All right, now in this next row, we're missing five, seven. So we can solve those. Here we're missing 3 and 7. And here we're missing 4, 6. All right. So that wasn't too bad. Once we found those triplets, um, it got a little bit tricky until we found these 258 triplets here. Once we found those, we were pretty much able to solve the rest of the puzzle. Well, be sure and uh, go to sudokuprimer.com. There's also uh, one thing I didn't mention was uh, there are free blank Sudoku grids that you can either fill in on the computer and print out, or you can just print them out and fill them in on paper uh, once you've uh, printed them. So that's a kind of a nice feature on the Sudoku Primer website. Well, thank you for watching. I hope this has been helpful, and I'll see you on the next video.